celebrate him. He that keeps the earth is mindful of all that concerns you and has never forgotten about you. Now is your time for mega and major upliftment and there will be no more sorrow and pain in your life. It would be tears of joy and rejoicing. The Lord is turning around your captivity and it will be like a dream. Men will see the happening and wonder the speed at things happening in your life. Can you imagine a baby crying unstoppably before the mother or a child crying to his father and the father is unable to provide for the child needs? Your case has received the attention of God and you would have no reason to cry or sorrow anymore. Your mourning season is over, your hopeless days are over, and you would smile and rise again. Whatever has been the cause of your pain, shame, and bitter tears ends today. God is giving you a fresh and new start, and the people who mocked you would come back to celebrate you. Those that despised you would come back to beg and associate with you again. Welcome to your season of rejoicing and celebration. It is your new beginning. The remaining days you have will be blessed and marked with greatness for you from God. Like angels on a mission that took a detour to the house of Abraham and promised them a child according to time and season, angels shall also be sent on a mission to your home which has been your long-awaited prayer. Like Abraham, you need to be ready and accommodating not to miss the angel of your blessing and promotion. You must be ready and waiting so as not to miss a life-changing moment. Wait in prayer and thanksgiving. And you would have your sent angel grant answers to your heart's desires and deliver God's promise that would wipe away your tears. You are in a season of visitation and change of story. You are set for honor that would change the course and direction of your life for good. That which you have long prayed for would be answered. At Shiloh, Hannah prayed and God remembered her and gave her a son which was the reason she was mocked. God blessed her with children and made them great. This is what happens when God steps in and wipes away your tears. He gives you a replacement that will make others know that He visited you. He will give you a blessing that ends the mockery and covers all the wasted and waiting years. God does not do small things. Whatever He does is good and would make news. The Bible confirms that the enemy came to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But he came that you may have life and have it in abundance. This is what will happen when God remembers you. He will reward and bless you to the full. He will bless and honor you and leave the enemy in shock. They may have thought that they have seen your end and that you will amount to nothing. But when he created all things, he would bless and lift you and turn the table around for your good before your enemies. He will anoint you and announce you to their shame and disgrace. This is the season you are in now and like Hannah, you must not cease praying and thanking Him. Let thanksgiving precede the remembrance. Have confidence and be ready in anticipation because it is your season of remembrance. Haman was plotting to do evil to Mordecai, but at that moment, God caused the king not to have rest until the book of remembrance was opened and it was found that the good deed of Mordecai was not awarded and the very person that was plotting him harm turned out to be the person ordered by the king to announce the king's appreciation to him. This is what will happen to you this season. The very people that desire to harm and disgrace you will have to celebrate you. It will be so hard on them that they cannot lift their head above you again. It would be to your amazement and your glorification. In Isaiah chapter 49 verse 15, the scripture showed us how impossible it is for God not to forget us. Your time was not right, but it is now, and you are in the season for mega celebration because all attention from heaven is on you now. Can a woman forget her nursing child and have no compassion? The Lord would contend with your opponent and save you this season. You would see the favor and mercy of God this season in a greater dimension. Like the case of Cornelius, his good works and charity were noticed by heaven, 
and despite not being a believer, angels had to be sent on assignment to get Peter to go and minister to Cornelius and convert him and his household to be saved by the glory of God. He must keep standards to attract the mercy and favor of God. God will remember you, and this is the season of your remembrance. It doesn't matter how long you have been in that predicament or pain, like God remembered Hezekiah. He will remember and heal you of all infirmity and sickness. He will take away the sickness and pain. His stripes are for your healing. He was bruised for your sake, and the sickness cannot remain. For that health challenge, remain steadfast in God. He will heal you. Jesus, the greatest physician, will heal you of every pain and affliction. Yours might be barrenness, as God did not forget Sarah, Rachel, Hannah, and Elizabeth. He will remember you and cause you to be a mother, and you will not be barren again, and great shall be your children. Genesis chapter 30 verse 22 says, And God remembered Rachel, and God hearkened to her, and opened her womb. He remembers the troubled. He remembers the barren among his people. He remembers your pain. He remembers your problems. He remembers what you were going through, and He will soon bring you out. Your prayer is not in vain. Your fasting is not in vain, and your seed of kindness is not forgotten. God will reward your obedience and the trust you have in Him. This season, He who remembered Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob will remember to bless you, heal you, prosper you, favor you, connect you, help you, and touch your life, business, and everything about you. He will remember to divinely settle you and your household. What you are not permitted to remember are the former things in your life, because God promised to do a new thing. Rather, He said, Put me in remembrance, and concerning my work, command me. He remembered Hagar and the mother in the wilderness. He will remember you in that location that seems like a pit. The God that remembered Noah and caused the water to dry down would remember you. The same God that remembered Joseph and raised him to become prime minister will do the same for you. He remembered to bring King Jehoiakim of Judah out of captivity in Babylon after 37 years in the twelfth month. He will bring you out of all your troubles in Jesus' name. It is your season today because when God remembers you, change becomes inevitable. When God remembers you, impossibility becomes possible. When God remembers you, all those who have been mocking you will bow before you. When God remembers you, your tears will be turned to joy. When God remembers you, the unimaginable, unexpected, uncommon miracles will happen. Do not think that God has forgotten you, He who did not spare His own Son, but gave Him up for us all. He knows the thought and plans He has for you. They are great and mighty, and would come at the right time, and now is the time. God will remember you in that contract, appointment, approval, or employment you have trusted Him for. He will grant them. It is your time and season. For the partner you have trusted him for, he will bring the perfect match your way. Like he brought Rebecca for Isaac, he will bring your Rebecca also. Your Boaz will meet you. Like Esther, your king will select you and make you a queen in his kingdom. God will remember you. You will not remain in that condition forever. You are coming out. You will survive. You will make it. You will prosper and become wealthy. When God remembers, problems are solved. Pain is brought to an end and deliverance takes place. When God remembers, demonic afflictions are terminated and stagnation is brought to an end. When God remembers, barrenness is terminated and poverty goes through the window. Keep trusting Him and He will not forget you.